Biden is expected to sign an executive order today that aims to increase access to low cost contraception for Americans. It's a largely symbolic move one year after the fall of Roe versus Wade. Tamara Scott is live in Raleigh now to tell us more. Tamara. Yeah, good afternoon. A local OBGYN that I spoke with earlier this morning tells me that this new executive order will help hundreds of families here in North Carolina be able to plan for their futures. Now, President Joe Biden is expected to sign this executive order designed to protect and expand access to contraception. This comes after the Supreme Court ruling last year overturning the constitutional right to abortion raised fears that birth control could also face restrictions. Now, the order would entail the federal government to work with private insurance insurers and Medicare and Medicaid to allow patients access to contraceptives, including timely consultations. Now, Dr. Alfonso with Duke Health says the cost of contraception ranging from as low as $7 a month to almost $1,000. More access and lower costs could change families and the health care system. We know that um, unintended pregnancies for patients, uh, you know, about 65% of all pregnancies are unfortunately unintended in the United States. So when someone decides that they're ready to start a contraceptive method to be able to gain timely access to that could help prevent that unintended pregnancy. And we know that uh, for every dollar that we spend on contraception of federal funds, we save nearly $4 in Medicaid and Title X funds. Um, when you look at the downstream effects of the cost of pregnancy and then the cost of raising a child. So allowing people to um, prevent that pregnancy with contraception really saves the healthcare system money. Now, Dr. Afonso also said with that Supreme Court decision last year, he's also seen a real uptick in increase for permanent sterilization, including vasectomy. So he hopes that this will help families really be able to plan their future a little bit better. Tamara Scott, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.